हेलो एवरीवन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस जियो टेक्सटाइल व्हिच इज़ पार्ट ऑफ टेक्निकल टेक्सटाइल्स इन जियो टेक्सटाइल आई विल कवर इंट्रोडक्शन डेफिनेशन ऑफ जियो टेक्सटाइल टाइप ऑफ फाइबर्स यूज्ड इन जियो टेक्सटाइल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ जियो टेक्सटाइल्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मटेरियल्स यूज इन जियो टेक्सटाइल फैब्रिक्स फॉर जियो टेक्सटाइल्स एडवांटेजेस ऑफ जियो टेक्सटाइल ओवर कन्वेंशनल मटेरियल्स फंक्शंस ऑफ जियो टेक्सटाइल डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ सॉइल पार्टिकल साइज एंड पोर साइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ जियो टेक्सटाइल्स एंड रेफरेंसेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंट्रोडक्शन द यूज ऑफ टेक्सटाइल्स फॉर जियो टेक्निकल एप्लीकेशंस ऑन सिस्टमेटिक एंड साइंटिफिक बेसिस वॉज फर्स्ट रिपोर्टेड इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका एंड यूरोप इन लेट नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज जियो टेक्सटाइल इंक्लूड ऑल दोज वोवन एंड नॉन वोवन टेक्सटाइल्स मेटेरियल्स यूज इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इंडस्ट्री टू प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट स्टेबिलिटी सेपरेशन एंड ड्रेनेज एट और बिलो द ग्राउंड लेवल इनफैक्ट जियो टेक्सटाइल इज वन ऑफ द मेम्बर्स ऑफ जियो सिंथेटिक फैमिली दोज मेम्बर्स इंक्लूड जियो सेल्स जियो ग्रिड जियो मेम्ब्रेन जियो कंपोजिट्स जियो टेक्सटाइल्स इन ए वे जियो सिंथेटिक इंक्लूड्स जियो टेक्सटाइल्स जियो ग्रिड जियो कंपोजिट्स जियो मेम्ब्रेन्स एक्सेट्रा डेफिनेशन ऑफ जियो टेक्सटाइल्स As we know the prefix of geo textile geo means earth and the textile means fabric the society for engineering in agriculture food and biological system defines a geo textiles as a fabric or synthetic material placed between soil and pipes gabion uh, retard soil movement and as a blanket to add reinforcement and separation now type of geo textiles in general the vast majority of geo textile is formed into fabrics uh, as woven non woven and knitted and knitted uh, mostly woven fabrics are preferred which are made of uh, monofilament multifilament slit film monofilament or multifilament then non woven continuous filament heat bonded continuous filament needle punched non woven staple needle punched non woven resin bonded so uh, non woven also preferred but uh, uh, it is less than woven fabrics and last one is knitted which is uh, uh, very less used in comparison to woven and non woven now properties of geo textile material the material should be light thick cheap strong and flexible the material should be rot resistant the material should have good tensile tearing and bursting strength it must be permeable because it will be used as uh, reinforcement and filtration it should be inert and ultraviolet resistant it must be compatible with the constructional material like cement clay lime bricks gravel stone etc now determination of properties of geo textiles uh, present methods of geo textile properties determination the major areas are mechanical hydraulic and durability mechanical determinants the short duration mechanical tests are as tension tests tear propagation test and burst tests hydraulic determinants which include the holes are small enough to prevent the continuous migration of 
soil particles geotextile should be pressure developing in the soil immediately adjacent to the geotextiles and last one is durability determinants uh, it should be resistant to biological environment chemical changes oxidation temperature variation abrasion fatigue resistance ultraviolet radiations types of fiber used in geotextile the fiber and yarn used for geotextile offer long term stability against mechanical chemical and biodegradation <coughs> synthetic fibers mostly polypropylene is used then polyamide polyethylene and polyester in natural fibers jute and coir used for geotextile applications if we see the ratio then major part is covered by polypropylene which is 83% then polyester 14% polyethylene 29% sorry polyethylene is only 2% and others 1% interrelationship between function of geotextiles and properties determination the two major roles of geotextiles hydraulic and mechanical and functions are hydraulic functions uh, which include drain and filtration mechanical include separation reinforcement and of course protection and properties thickness permeability clog mechanical resistance roughness uh, characteristics include compressibility transitivity permittivity filtration uh, tension tearing piercing flexural and friction this table shows function and required parameters for separation uh, these are functional parameters then mechanical requirement and hydraulic requirement long term performance so during installation mechanical requirements impact resistance should be high elongation at break should be high hydraulic apparent opening size aos and thickness are important long term performance ultraviolet resistance should be there during construction puncture resistance should be high elongation at break is important again aos and thickness and long term performance chemical stability and ultraviolet resistance after completion of construction puncture resistance tear propagation resistance uh, tear propagation resistance and elongation at break hydraulic again aos and thickness and long term performance ultraviolet resistance and resistance to decay this table shows function and required parameters for protection uh, functional requirement tunnel construction mechanical requirement uh, bus pressure resistance puncture resistance abrasion resistance uh, long term performance uh, chemically stable ph between 2 to 13 decay resistance then landfill and reservoir abrasion resistance chemically stable ph is required then geo membrane bus pressure resistance decay resistance so uh, this table like shows the required parameters for function and required parameters for reinforcement 
the function parameters base failure toe failure slope failure the mechanical requirements shear strength of bonding geotextile tensile strength of geotextile geotextile and soil friction geotextile tensile strength hydraulic requirements hydraulic boundary condition hydraulic boundary condition for these both base failure and slope failure and long term performance chemical and decay resistance which is common for all function parameters now required parameters for drainage functional parameters permanent drainage or temporary drainage mechanical influence of uh, normal overburden pressure hydraulic requirements permeability should be high thickness is important effective opening size and long term performance chemical properties of water and soil chemical stability decay resistance so these are the important and for filtration uh, functional parameters permanent filter function or temporary filter function mechanical requirement effective geotextile opening size then geotextile thickness is important hydraulic filter stability uh, geotextile permeability then long term performance chemical properties of water and soil chemical stability decay resistance that is important so today we will stop here and uh, in my next lecture i will cover classification of geotextiles properties of materials used in geotextile advantages of geotextile and applications of geotextiles thank you very much